Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for November 12th through the 18th. Now keep in mind that this is, it's not, we're not there yet, okay? So this reading could resonate now, but there's a good chance that this is going to resonate the week that it's posted for. So I'm just telling you all that because there's a lot I've noticed on a lot of other videos, not specifically mine, but people are, like the Decembers, okay? So a lot of people have put out Decembers. And there's dislikes on them. It's like, it's not even December yet. So anyway, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the week of November 12th through the 18th. I focus on love. We're going to see whatever comes up. What does Aries need to know for the week? What does Aries need to know? I lit some new candles for you, Aries. I picked out some nice can bigger ones than the last two. I just, I don't know why. You guys got some newer candles. Mm. You may be juggling. You may be feeling like things are a little disorganized right now, but you're handling it quite well, right? You may be taking steps in a new direction, feeling a little uneasy with this new direction. Something could be happening fast, you know, maybe it's too, maybe it's uncomfortable, I don't know. Ooh, lack of faith, lack of trust, lack of believing. You may not be listening to your gut when you should be. Not listening. Somebody's not listening. Hmm. Ooh, and it's causing disharmony. There's some disharmony here, and there's a lack of patience as well. It's like, it's like you're on a roller coaster. You're, it's like you're on a roller coaster ride. You may feel like you're on a roller coaster ride. No shit. Things are definitely feeling a little unbalanced, that's for darn sure. You may feel like you're all over the place, but you're feeling abundant. That's a good thing, right? Feeling grateful, independent, doing well. I mean, even though things are chaotic, you're still doing pretty well. Oh, it looks like there's there's a, a an ending of something. There's an end of a there's a completion in a relationship. It's like somebody could be moving. Somebody could have left your life. Somebody, you know, there's this the end of a relationship of some sort. It's over, it's done. Completion. There's been, it's the end of a family situation or a family dynamic. Something has come to an end or it's about to come to an end. There's, there's been, there's no more abundance here. There's no more, there's no more growth here. There's no more happiness here in this, whatever it was, relationship. It's come to an end. And it may have come to an abrupt end with this eight of wands because this is fast, an abrupt end. And now you're like, oh, and that's why things are feeling messy. Thing, you know, it's a mess. It feeling, you know, with this card and this card, things are a little unbalanced. I mean, something abruptly ends in your home or your family life or in a relationship that you're in or and this could be anything. This could be it could be a pet. It could be a family member goes away or moves away or do you break up or something. Yes, okay. So I was calling it as it is, right? There's going to be an abrupt change. I absolutely saw that one coming. Okay, so there is. And then, like I said, we aren't here yet. 
This could be happening now. This is being recorded on, well, it might be even the 7th now, November 7th. It's uh, <laughs> three more minutes until November 7th, which is the new moon. Okay? So, but this is for the week of the 12th to the 18th. But, you know, the timing is fluid. could resonate with you now. There's an abrupt change coming. And it isn't going to feel good because the tower doesn't usually feel good. And somebody saw, I heard a reader say today that the tower is not always bad. Well, I... <laughs> It's not bad in the in the end. It's a blessing in disguise. Okay, in the end, it is absolutely a blessing in disguise. But while something is breaking down, it usually doesn't feel good, and that's the truth. So there's some sort of rude awakening coming that is going to knock you off your, you know. It's gonna it's gonna mess you up a little bit, okay? It is. It is. It's gonna cause you a little bit of uneasiness, and that's the reality of this situation. You're you may feel insecure with this, but in the end, it is going to end the difficulty that you've been through. Okay, it is because help is going to arrive. Help is going to arrive. It's going to be it's going to take you out of this darkness that you've been in. And that's why the tower happens. The tower moment, the rude awakening, the bullshit happens to bring you to the place that you need to go to. And it is going to take you out of this dark period that you've been in. Believe it or not, going to bring you some sort of abundance. It's going to open your eyes. It's going to wake you up. It is absolutely going to wake you up. It's going to give you a new perspective. That's for damn sure, right? It is. It's going to make you wiser. Mm -hmm. And it's going to it's going to bring you a miracle. And you may not see it as a miracle when it's happening. But pain, you think about that birth. We're going to talk about it again. You give birth and you receive a miracle. And that's what this is. And to give birth, you have to feel the pain. And that, no matter how you give birth, whether it's through C-section or natural whatever there's pain involved so you are going to feel some pain but then you are going to receive a miracle and that's the damn truth so be prepared okay be prepared to come out of this dark period that you've been in and go through a rebirth because that's exactly what this is It's what is needed. It's what is needed at this time. Okay? Believe it or not. It's going to make you feel uncomfortable. Being pregnant is very uncomfortable. Whether you're male or female, you could take it whatever you want. You're going to feel some pain, okay? It ain't going to be comfortable. But it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. And you're going to be so grateful that this tower, look what's mirroring. You're going to be so grateful that this tower happened in the end. You are. It's going to open your eyes in a big way. Oh, look at, I picked up the cards, but two didn't come, so we're going to take these. Because, you know, I, I, I listen. Yeah. Ooh. So somebody's been in a situation that is so discontent, wanting more emotional happiness. I want more. I want love. I'm bored where I'm at. I'm not happy where I'm at. And I'm dreaming of this love. 
And, you know, you can dream about it all you want. Don't think they don't hear you because the universe does. They've been seeing that you've been wanting more. They've been seeing that you've been discontent. They've been seeing that you've been unfulfilled. They're here to help. You haven't taken any action. You haven't found the ambition. You've lost your drive. The spark has been put out. Somebody needs to relight it. Might as well be the universe. Because you deserve to be loved. And somebody's been growing more and more emotionally detached as the days go by. And, you know, maybe there's even been a depression. Maybe you've been going through some sort of depression because you're not getting the love that you deserve. Or you're not feeling loved or whatever the case is. You deserve it. Tower sees that you deserve it. The universe is, the tower is universe. And somebody's lacking the strength. They have lacked the strength. It's like I've lost all energy. It's like your energy has been stripped to take any action. Well, the universe sees that too. And they're like, oh, okay. You don't have the strength. You don't have the courage. You're weak. We need to we need to step in at this point. We need to step in. And force you to stand up for yourself. It's time to close this door to anguish, guilt, and depression. It's time to release it. It's time to let it go. And it's going to hurt. You've been hurting. But this suffering that you've been going through has taught you so much it really has it's brought you true growth right it has it's a lot of heartache here and tension you're going to be feeling some tension you may be feeling some inner conflict with this because when you're feeling pain it causes tension but you've been holding on to something that needs to go four of coins reverse it's time for you to release it's time for you to let go so you're going to end up letting go. Something is, is going to be let go of. And it's not going to feel good. And I'm not going to pretend that it's going to. Because you have been in a stagnant period. There's been no change. And there's been no real stability or security where you're at. And you deserve to receive what you put out. You deserve a lot more. You deserve reciprocation. And it looks like you're going to get some help from somebody. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be anybody. I 
I think you're going to receive some sort of reward for this. For this suffering that you've been through. It looks like you're going to end up walking away from something. And you're going to find extreme happiness when you get to where you're going. Your happiness, healing, awaits. You're going through a rebirth. That's what this is. So this is a week of feeling some... There's going to be an abrupt change. That doesn't feel good when it's happening. It's going to affect your home life. Okay, it is. Or your family dynamic. It is. This change is going to feel uncomfortable, unfortunately. It's going to cause you to feel like you're on this roller coaster and you're, you don't even know what you're doing. But in the end, it's going to be a blessing because it's going to lead you to the ultimate happiness. And that is no joke. So take that roller coaster ride. When it's time to get off, you'll be happy that you took it. You'll be a whole new person. There'll be, you will. You will. It's safe for you to love, open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. And that's the Six of Pentacles right here. To give and receive, those are the key words. You deserve to receive what you give. And it's about time that you receive. And that's why this is happening. Because you are not meant to be alone. We talked about this already. You're not meant to be alone. You are meant to receive. And that's why this is happening. So when that roller coaster boarding comes up, just get on. Good luck. Talk to you next week.